Women are very special. I think it's a very special time because a lot of things are coming out, and I think that's good for our society, and I think it's very, very good for women. And something very <clears throat> transformative is happening. Mm -hmm. That is, women are saying zero tolerance, no more, and we're going to speak out on it. Yeah, that's it, with the gold. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. Are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. So for the record, said, you're saying you never did that. I said things that, frankly, you, you hear these things, I said. And I was embarrassed by it, but I have tremendous respect for women. Have you ever and done those things? women have respect for me. And I will tell you, no, I have not. And I will tell you that I'm going to make our country safe. Every woman lied when they came forward to hurt my campaign. Total fabrication. The events never happened, never. I've had uh, heard from so many women, uh, so many women who've had a bad experience, and now they're saying, I had a bad experience, and now a person who engaged, possibly engaged in that activity, is the President of the United States. I'm speaking out. That was locker room talk, and certainly I'm not proud of it, but that was something that uh, happened. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, Far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. Why the silence when there have been these allegations, serious ones, about President Clinton? Well, I'd like to say that I think that the women of America are speaking out about what they uh, think about this whole situation. And the women of America are just like other Americans in that they value fairness, they value privacy and do not want to see an, a person with uncontrolled power, uncontrolled time, uncontrolled, uh, unlimited money uh, investigating at the president of the United States. Were you putting politics ahead of your personal disgust? Let me just say the concern that we had then was that they were impeaching the president of the United States and uh, for something that had nothing to do uh, with the performance of his duties. President Clinton was accused of being a sexual predator. Well, uh, uh, and of even rape at one uh, point by one, by one why, accuser. Why don't we talk instead about how we go forward? Nobody is proud of President Clinton's behavior at the time. Right. Let's go forward. Let's talk about, um, okay, let's learn from past right. uh, decisions okay. and go forward. So define zero tolerance. You said there's now a zero tolerance. Yes. John Conyers, what does that mean for him right yeah, now? But let's say In or out. we are strengthened by due process. Mm -hmm. Just because someone is accused, you, and, and was it one accusation, is it two? I think there has to be. John Conyers is an icon in our country. He has done a, gr a great deal to protect women. Do you believe John Conyers is accused? I don't know who they are. Do you? They have not really come forward. And, and that gets so you to don't know point. if you believe the accusations? <laughs> what, that's for the Ethics Committee to review. I don't know what happened. I just heard about Conyers two minutes ago. Uh, as far as Franken's concerned, uh, he's going to have to speak for himself. I'd rather have him speak for himself. I don't know. Look, I don't want to speak for Al Franken. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just. Where are you on Senator Franken? Well, Sam, I don't think that you can equate Senator Franken with with Roy Moore. There, it's two different things. Well, he denies. I mean, Roy Moore denies it. And by the way, he gives a total denial. And I do have to say, 40 years is a long time. He's run eight races, and this has never come up. So 40 years is a long time. The women are Trump voters. Most of them are Trump voters. All you can do is you have to do what you have to do. He totally denies it. If you look at what, what is really going on, and you look at all the things that have happened over the last 48 hours, he totally denies it. He says it didn't happen. And, you know, you have to listen to him also.